All right, day tripping today brings me to Detroit, Michigan, Widmere Cemetery. Uh, two or three notable interments here. James Verner. If that interests you, if you're a history buff, James Verner, man. So, I'm going to take you back to the entrance on how to find these markers. I'm going to tell you a little story on the way. If you're just randomly coming across this video, sort of my thing. I like to find odd and quirky graves or famous graves. Find them, do a little video, show other people how to find them if that interests them. A little bit of history. So, Verner's, James Verner, right? Talk about a guy that was really almost there. He missed the boat. He was way older than Coca-Cola. And all those early sodas, they were all medicines, right? And uh, Verner's was real popular as a medicine. And, the re and it's just regional. You can't really find it across the country, right? And, uh, but he could have been Coke. You never know, right? So what happened, right? So Coke is the one that figured out carbonation. So before that, all those guys were just selling elixirs, right? Medicines. But man, first time people tasted bubbly stuff, right? It took off. I think that Verner's no longer uh, oak ages their drink. They might, I'm not sure. So, real quick, a little bit about Widmere Cemetery. There's uh, three graves here that are sort of famous. Verner's and this guy named Bagley, he used to be the mayor of, uh, I'm sorry, the governor of Michigan. And Buick, David Buick, right? Buick cars, right? How crazy is that? Simple little marker, one of the great world's industrialists, right? So Widmere was founded in 1867, and it's sort of the uh, forgotten stepsister, I guess, of Woodlawn. And Detroit Woodlawn is definitely the premier cemetery in Detroit. Uh, many, many, many famous internments there. And uh, it's about 20 years older than Woodlawn. And when Woodlawn came around, it just about put them out of business as far as famous, uh, like, you know, the go-to place, right? So, in this case, you can see, well, first of all, on findagrave.com, the GPS does work. It brings you very close to that grave and look for that marker with the waving uh, angel type. All right, so right down there is the main entrance. Right down there. When you come in, you turn left. See, there's a cemetery. There's a burial coming through. I don't want to get in people's way. So you would come right down there, past the mausoleum, straight down here. And it's going to be up here on your right. Yeah, you can actually already see it. It's on top of that hill over there. You can, they're so white on the top of the hill, and you can see the statue with the waving person. So super easy to find. Come right down here, turn right on section B. And it's actually in section D. And right there on the top of that hill. All right, if you're just randomly coming across this, it's sort of my thing. I like to do these short videos. No intention other than entertaining myself. And some, if somebody randomly runs across them, congratulations to us, huh? So I have looked for markers my whole life and took photos of thousands of graves and I never really done videos and I, I just wish I would have uh, because the struggles that I had looking for these places and uh, so maybe I get to start traveling the world again and finding these locations over again huh all right, so if you like the video, enjoy, and look for some more that I've posted from time to time. Happy 
travels.